Hey everybody! So welcome to Marco Island. We are here for the 40th anniversary, um, the 40th year of the Marco Shell Club Shell Show. And I'm super excited to take you guys inside um, and show you guys some awesome exhibits. So earlier this month, we went to the Sanibel Shell Show in Sanibel Island. And um, traditionally, the Sanibel Shell Show is the first weekend in March. And then the Marco Island Shell Show is usually the following weekend. So it makes it really nice for exhibitors to be able to show it both shows. So before we go in, I just wanted to answer a couple questions that some of you have asked me. Anytime you enter a shell show, you want to make sure that you're reading all of the rules. Now, all of the rules and regulations for the shows can be found on their respective shell club pages. So you can either go to the Sanibel Shell Club or MarcoShellClub.com to find out more about individual entries and exhibitor requirements. So a couple things um, that I wanted to point out really quick before we get in there. You do not have to be a resident of Marco Island or Sanibel Island to participate in the shell, the shell show, but you must be a member of the club. So you can join the club online um, at those websites. And then also there are some regulations about shells that some of you guys have asked me. So again, I'm gonna give you kind of an overview, but make sure that if you want to enter, you're reading the individual show rules because they can vary from club to club. So basically, um, if you are a novice, that means you've never ever entered the shell show before. Otherwise, you're no longer a novice. Um, the other thing is keep in mind that a lot of the clubs have professional and amateur. So that would mean if you are somebody that sh um, sells your artwork or sells your shells that you're displaying, you would be considered a professional. So make sure that you're entering either the professional or amateur category um, correctly. As far as the different divisions go, so artistic is going to be a division that's basically arts and crafts. So you can make things out of shells. You do not have to find the shells that you make your crafts out of. So that means you can buy them from other shellers, you can buy them from a shell shop, um, or you can use shell shells that you find yourself, but you can get them from any source in the artistic division, but your entry has to be made by you. Most of the clubs, you have to make your entry. So if your best friend sent you a shell mirror that they made, you couldn't enter that shell mirror under your name. They would have to enter it under their name. Does that make sense? Um, also, for the scientific division, there are different um, categories where you have to collect the shells yourself. So that's called self-collected. So you have to be the one that you found those shells yourself. And then not at a shell shop, but like in their natural habitat on the beach or in the ocean or whatnot. And then there is other categories that are any source. So let's just say that you're doing a growth series of horse conks and you didn't have all of the shells you needed. So you purchased a couple, you know, four or five inch horse conks that would be considered any source. Okay. Um, the other thing to remember is you can enter a shell, a shell show category. Um, but if you win a blue ribbon, that exhibit that you entered is no longer eligible for that category. So let's just say that you entered a shell mirror and you won first place, that you cannot enter at that show in that category with that shell mirror, but you can enter at a different shell show with that shell mirror if it hasn't won a blue ribbon. Um, what else was another question that was asked to me? If I think of anything, um, other, other questions, um, I will go ahead and answer them throughout the show. But if you guys have questions, you can drop them in the comments below, or again, you can visit the individual websites to be able to get more information. Are you guys ready to go to the shell show? All right, let's go. just start right here in the artistic division so again I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna stay on each individual <clears throat> exhibit for a super long time because there as you can see there's a lot to get through here but um, I will be trying to post some additional photos for you guys and you can also hi everybody look at my shirt isn't it so cute I got this from my friend Roxy this is not all who wander or lost some are just 
looking for the perfect seashell. So isn't that so cute? So here's a beautiful shell mirror. Blue ribbon winner, Jackie Lynch. That's so exciting. Jackie, I have to say your displays are so cute. Look how cute that beach house is. I know a lot of you would like to live in that beach house. And some of these um, displays you probably will recognize from, this is Amanda's. You might recognize some of these from Sanibel. Congratulations, Amanda. I just love your work so much. These miniature Sailor's Valentines are so unbelievably tiny, and the amount of work that goes into them takes so much time. Oh, Judy Arnold, congratulations. She got a special merit award. Look how pretty. So what I love about this is it's all in black and white. Look at that, how cool. Love those Narita shells, those little black and white Naritas there. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, who's a cat lover? That's Winston. Look how cute. Hi, Winston. I know a lot of you are cat lovers. It's a great way to honor your pets, to have picture frames made of shells or sailors' valentines. Amanda, congratulations again. Amanda's amazing with these sailors' valentines. So I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see all of the detail. Unbelievable. I love those butterflies made out of the coquinas. Well done, Amanda. You should be really proud. And it's Mickey and Minnie. Judy Arnold. Look how cute. I love those little coral pieces. So pretty. And Amanda again. Amanda's got the Sailor Valentines down to a science. Literally, look how pretty. So I don't know if you guys be able to see, but it's 3D. Like it, like the middle comes out. You know, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Try to get to the side so you guys can see. Congratulations, Amanda. It's absolutely beautiful. And Kathy, you guys recognize Kathy's work from Sanibel as well. So this is the one with all of the little Wendell traps there. Detail is just incredible on these. And she makes Kathy are our Valentine master. Look at this. How pretty. Look at all the limpets and those coffee bean trivias in there. Absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, Kathy. These are so beautiful. And then here we've got the miniature flower arrangements. So they're teeny, teeny, tiny. Zoom in. And this is going to be the flower arrangements for the professional class. 
So this is another example of shells, you guys, that are super common, right? The arc shells. And look how beautiful this is. So don't ever think that you can't find common shells and make something that is going to be a blue ribbon winner at the shell show. Isn't that awesome? how pretty this is. So this one is made of jingle shells, the flowers. You guys know jingle shells are one of those kind of underrated shells. A lot of people don't pick up jingle shells at the beach, but they make the most gorgeous flowers. Look at that. So pretty. Hopefully this gives you guys some amazing inspiration. I know for me, um, every time I come to a shell show, I get so inspired by the creativity that people people do. Okay, let me try to get out of the shadow here and show you guys. This is a beautiful flower made of angel wings and uh, it's like a juvenile conch in the middle there. Look how pretty. Juvenile milk conch, excuse me. So pretty and this one won a special award as well. And look at this, the Ocean's Desert Rose made of operculum. So you guys know that I love those operculums, those trap doors. And look how amazing this is, that she made a flower, how creative, out of the operculums. So everybody wants to know why I collect operculums. Well, this could be a reason, because you can make something beautiful from them, aside from the fact that they're a really cool beach treasure, right? Look how fun. I love seeing new things. That's so cool. And then here's Audrey. And so I'm going to zoom in here so you can see she made a beautiful picture frame. And this is all of the, all of the items that were used. Fish scales, barnacles, little crystals. Um, so you guys can see what she used exactly to make this. Are you ready to see it? Here we go. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Audrey, congratulations. This picture frame is just stunning. Look at the mermaid in her hair made out of the fish scales and detail. It's just look at the tiny little, the teeny tiny baby little sand dollars there. So gorgeous. And I love the tail. Look at the tail. Pearl tail. Look how pretty that is. I absolutely love that. Gorgeous. And Connie, here's her. You guys will recognize this one as well from Sanibel, the little moth. That's so pretty. Pieces of pen shells make those wings. And look at the worm shells, you guys. Look how fun. Okay, let me get down so you guys can see. Look how cute. I love this. This is the cutest thing. Look at the little butterfly details. Can you guys see the little butterflies in this bouquet of worm shells? That is fabulous. Linda, congratulations. Absolutely beautiful. And this is going to be your holiday. You guys know I love the holiday decorations, right? So this is going to be your Christmas ornament here. Those are so fun to make as gifts too for friends and family up north. And then this beautiful display is just, hold on, let me back up a little bit so you guys can see it. Look how pretty. And this one won a People's Choice Award. So just like with Sanibel, um, the people who come to the show, the, the um, so just like with Sanibel, the attendees of the show are able to vote for their favorite. And this is the one that got the most votes from the guests attending. So let me go and show you guys, starting out with the cute little Indian boats or slipper shells. I grew up calling them Indian boats, but I also grew up here on Marco Island where the Calusa Indians were and they had Indian boats. So that's why um, I grew up calling them that, but they've got little candles. Hold on, let me try to focus in. And then we've got an adorable little Christmas tree made out of gar scales. I absolutely love that with a sparkling little star on top. And the little canoe, look at the little paddles made out of kitten paws. How adorable is that? Oh 
Oh my gosh, you guys. And look at the sea urchin spines that make up the roof here on this little, little lighthouse, or I don't know if it's a lighthouse or a little, little cottage. Oh, there's the, that must be the lighthouse right there. Look how adorable this is. And then you've got this beautiful boat, this big ship here. All of the details. So I want you guys to see the, the planks here for the wood are actually made of sea urchin spines. I know it's really loud in here. I'm sorry, there's like a million people. Look at the detail. That is so cool. And then we've got another little some coral rock and another beautiful Christmas tree. This is just absolutely stunning. So much to look at. Absolutely beautiful. And here we've got um, just like some jewelry here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of the shadow. Look at this bonnet. It's almost Easter, so put on your Easter bonnet, spring fling. Look how pretty. Beautiful flowers on this bonnet. Absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Jay. That's just stunning. I love the display, too. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. And as a makeup artist, I must say, her makeup and brows are on point, so very nicely done. And you'll also recognize this one, Constance from the Sanibel <clears throat> show. She won the best non-floral professional. Look how pretty. And I'm not sure, I think this is pen. It doesn't say, it's either pen or pencil, but look at all of the detail. It's just absolutely amazing, the time and detail that went into this. Beautiful work of art. And then here we've got some miscellaneous flowers. If you guys are having a beach wedding, this is some amazing beach decor. So here's the little mirror for the groom. And you've got a beautiful table setting centerpiece. You've got a cake topper. And you've also got a beautiful bouquet for the bride. Gorgeous. 40 years of fun and shelling. So we're gonna go up here, make our way around. All right, we're gonna make our way up here. We've got more Sailor's Valentine here. Guys, the lighting is not good up here. So I do apologize for that. I will try to brighten the video just a bit before I, before I post it. Look at the little flowers she's holding. Those are teeny tiny, you guys. Like, I can't even tell you how small these are. I love this one. It's Glam Urchin by Jackie Lynch. Look at the Glam Urchin. That is the prettiest urchin I've ever seen, by the way. Look how pretty. And you guys know, more sparkle the better, right? More glitter, more sparkle. That is so pretty. Well done, Jackie. And Christine, congratulations. Christine won an award. Look how pretty. Let me get in closer here so you guys can see the detail. Absolutely beautiful. Diamond in the sky. These are all of the shells that were used to create this beautiful Sailor's Valentine. So here are the 40th anniversary exhibits for Scientific. 
so here are some paper figs found on Marco Island, South Beach. So this is a growth series. So this is something fun for you guys when you're, when you're shell collecting. You can try to do a growth series. And what that is, is you have to find your little babies and then you have to find each kind of stage in the growth development all the way up to the adult. So you can do that with any shell, it's really fun. Um, and it gives you something to do when you're out shelling, you know, like fighting conks, for example. We find a lot of fighting conks, but can you find all of the sizes to go from baby, 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 juvie all the way up to adult? So that's something that's really fun for you guys too. And these were also found on Marco in a Marco area. Look at the little raccoon, how cute. So I'll show you guys this display and there's that beautiful Genonia that everybody wants to try to find. So these are some beautiful specimens and this is gonna be a great kind of little shell ID for you guys too. So you've got your true tulip, your banded tulip, your olive, you've got a beautiful scotch bonnet, you've got an albino. So this is also a great seashell ID for you guys. You've got a beautiful albino whelk there, um, your true tulip, banded tulip, the different cones that you can find, your gaudy nautica, as well as your shark eye. And this one's really cool too, because if you look here, you get to see what a gaudy nautica operculum looks like. So that white spiral thing is going to be the trap door. That's the operculum. So you might have found operculums for moon snails in the past and just didn't know what they are. And there's that beautiful genonia as well. Here are some bivalves. So bivalves are awesome, as you saw, to make beautiful shells, uh, shell flowers. And here you guys can see your flat scallop on this side. And then the other side of the flat scallop we call a deep dish, and that's gonna be more curved, if you guys can see that. So both sides of a flat scallop actually aren't flat. So you probably have found some deep dish scallops and didn't even know it. Look how pretty. Beautiful, I love those albino cockles too. That's really neat. And here is 40 for celebrating 40 years of the Marco Island Shell Show. So this is um, 39 of our very common, beautiful olives and one not so common olive. Do you guys see it? It's the golden olive. So that's a pretty rare find down here. It is yellow. It literally is golden. Like you'll know when you find one. A lot of people find these lighter ones here on the sides. Um, and they think that they're golden olives, but they're just light colored olives. A golden olive will truly be golden. Like you can pick it out, right? That's how you'll know that it is golden. And here is a beautiful display of butterflies, the coquinas. And this is kind of a little growth series as well. You've got your little baby coquinas all the way up to the adults. So this theme of this table is red. They're celebrating 40 years and for a 40 year anniversary, um, the symbol is ruby. So they've taken the ruby red and made it into a theme. So all of these have to have a red theme. So this is gonna be jewelry made out of shells with a beautiful red theme to it. And here is a shade of red for every woman and I will tell you as a makeup artist that is true if you don't think you can wear red you're just not wearing the right red so that is absolutely true and then here is a beautiful plate self-collected shells painted red at South Beach on Marco that's beautiful I love that big red sand dollar right in the middle there and then this one is a beautiful shell display and then just the edges of these shells are painted red so that's really unique and pretty celebrating 40 years and then this is I can't 
can't tell what kind of shell that is. It's some type of, looks like maybe a scallop or a clam shell. I can't really tell, but it's painted like the globe. And you've got the state of Florida right there with a little flag saying Marco Island. So that's where Marco Island is for all of you wanting to know, right there. And look how cute. This is Emily's purse. So Emily Savage is a very dear, dear friend of mine. She she was one of the one of the people that got me into shells when I was about two or three years old. She she and I uh, used to craft and and paint shells at her store. And this is absolutely beautiful. Look how cute. Scallop shells painted like ladybugs. That is so fun. And Emily is here somewhere. I'll have to find her. Birds of a feather. Wow, look how pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the birds. Oh my goodness. Those are so cute. I love those. Tiny little sailors valentine. Congratulations, you won a special award for the Single, single Sailors Valentine Professional. And you might have seen this one at the uh, Sanibel Shell Show also, you guys, but this one's just, just beautiful. I love that eagle in the middle. It's pretty. That's neat. The whale. That is beautiful. Look at all of the sand dollars. All right, guys, we're going to run through the scientific division. These are pencil, slate pencil sea urchins. Here is the sand dollar. So this is self-collected marine life. So not necessarily seashells, but sea urchins, sand dollars, marine life that you would collect yourself. So this is another growth series, okay? So you can see the babies all the way up to the big one. And then when you break them open, you get those beautiful doves. And that is the way the doves look right there inside. Here's another little better display over here. So it looks like a star, and then when they're broken up, they turn into little doves. It's so cool. Here's another growth series. So you can see the little baby all the way up to the big one. I know a lot of you are gaudy fans. And look at the conks. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous right now. Look how many albinos. That is so amazing. You guys know I love albino shells. Look at that. And it's like a growth series of albino too. That is really cool. And then here you've got some freak shells. So freak shells are kind of like shells that maybe have a growth deformity. So you can see here, let me try to zoom in. So let me just go over these. So these are uncommon colors. Then you have the dwarf species. You have corded. You have damage from barnacles. You guys can see the damage there. And then here we have the club spined. These are the freak shells. You guys can see how they're oddities. Look at that one right here. That one's kind of crazy how it never really grew correctly. And then here you've got this smooth form. So neat, this is such a great display of conks. You guys can find conks everywhere. Conks are, are all over down here. So look at this growth series, absolutely. So fun. And you can find awesome patterns like that. 
an uncommon color. It looks like a like a fudge sickle. I've like only that. gotten one sand dollar this year. It's and I really love the purple. Up. Look at and the purple lip in there. It was, um, so no, pretty. I two. love we this. But the Amelia Trip, congratulations. This is a fabulous um, display. Of Residence Beach, fabulous which we display. Never got them there before. So we always got them, you know, mm -hmm. more. And here's Amanda's yeah, growth yeah. series that yeah. she found in oh, Juniper yeah. Island. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jupiter Island. I can't speak right now. Jupiter Island. Congratulations, Amanda. Ribboned again. So this is her growth series of the violet sea snail found in Jupiter Island. Eastern oyster. Oh wow. Look how pretty these lettered olives are. They're super cool. On the other side. Fossils of France. So this is gonna be fossil shells. Hawaii. I don't remember collecting of any of those in Hawaii. <laughs> I've been there three times. I didn't see those. And look at this. Here we have another growth series of the Sunray Venus. I'll try to get up so you guys can see the whole thing. It's really cool. Some calico scallops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you guys will be able to see shells at these shell shows that you might have never seen before. Some of these are from all over the world. Australia. This is pretty neat though to read about. This one, should I think it should be going the other direction, but this is the Conchologists of America Award. So congratulations to Gregory Curry on his beautiful exhibit. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at this scientific side here. Um, this is awesome. This student won the top student award for scientific and he found emoji shells. It is so fun, look how cute these are. Aren't those awesome? So cool. And here's a beautiful Queen Kong that Olivia found in the Florida Keys. Another blue ribbon winner, and that's awesome. And this display not only won the top junior award, but also won the People's Choice Award for Scientific. This is such an awesome display of shells that he's found in the Florida Keys. So Dominic Baker, congratulations. This is absolutely an amazing display. Look at the live flamingo tongue here. So the thing that makes a flamingo tongue unique is because when they're alive, they have these spots that kind of look like a giraffe. But when the animal passes away, the shell is just gonna be left kind of a yellow or peachy color. Look at all of these cool things that he's found in the Florida Keys. And then he's got some beautiful shells here. So cool. It's a great display. And then we've got some single shells here. Dominic again found this gorgeous Triton shell. It's not a shell we find here, but it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And then Riley, this is Amanda's daughter, Riley Collette, found this beautiful green helmet in Sebastian, Florida. Gorgeous. And here's some giant heart cockles. Look at this fun display. Blue ribbon winner here for Novice. A little growth series that's so fun. So this is really cool. Some of you may have never heard of the watering pot shell. Um, maybe you found one and just didn't know what it is. But this is what it looks like. And 
then she has a beautiful display of what it is, what makes them unique and unusual, where they live, how they feed. Very nice display. Awesome. Here we have the hobbyist class for Marco Island Single Shell or Sea Life that is self-collected. So these have to be found on Marco. So this is a beautiful rose murex here. And here is a gorgeous golden olive. You can see how golden it really is. Let's see if I can, there we go. And then we have a stunning Genonia here. Olivia. And it says Genonia, maybe not so rare. I will tell you, everybody thinks that Genonia is super rare, but I'll tell you there are shells I've never found, um, and I've found a few Genonias. So I know that that's kind of the holy grail, but I think that they're becoming more, more common and popular to find um, than they used to be. Here's a man that has another beautiful Genonia shell. Look how pretty this one is. Perfect tip on that. That is gorgeous. And then we have another Rose Murex here. Yeah, you're really. Yeah, your brothers And Amanda's, oh, her freak shell, horse conk. Look how cool. Show you guys how it's kind of, you'll be able to see how its tip is kind of turned up. You guys can see that. Look how cool. It's beautiful. Rebecca Miller has a beautiful lace murex here. I know a lot of you love the lace murexes. Here's a paper nautilus. Amanda found a beautiful paper nautilus, absolutely gorgeous shell in Jupiter, Florida. Look how pretty. Wow, look at that one shadows out of the way for you guys you guys see so cool Grand Bahama Island and here's a thorny oyster we know why it's called thorny oyster This was collector, collected in Somalia. So this won the Worldwide Single Shell Soft Collected Award. Look how gorgeous. That's a beautiful shell. Here's a gorgeous carrier shell. So this is a fantastic example of a carrier shell, actually carrying shells. So those shells are very attached to that carrier shell. Isn't that so neat? That is so cool. That's probably one of my favorite here because that is just so neat to see. Usually you just find them with like pieces of shells, but that actually has some legit shells on there. That is really cool. Diane Hughes, that's fantastic. Really cool. Fossil shell. So I was telling you guys um, previously, how do you know if it's a fossil? Well, if it's found in rock, <laughs> if it is in a chunk of rock, you know that it is a fossil. So that is really cool. Found in Australia. Here's another fossil here. We've got a huge display. I'll kind of run you guys through this. I know the lighting in here is not good, and I feel like wherever I stand, I'm right in the middle of. There we go, that way. Right in the middle of the light there. So you guys can see some of these shelves. Oh, this is fantastic. 
fantastic. Look at that big one. It's so fun to see different shells around the world because what we have that's really common to us is really rare in other places and vice versa. And then here we've got the tiny shells. So a lot of people will put these in like little magnifying boxes so you're able to see them a little bit better. Look at these tiny little ones here. Let's see if I can zoom in. This is a fabulous display. that big cowrie. So cool. Oh, here's the flamingo tongue. So you guys see how it doesn't have any spots anymore? So when they're alive, they kind of have giraffe spots. But then when they're no longer alive anymore, those spots go away and you have kind of a yellowy peachy color flamingo tongue. Wow, there's so much work went into this beautiful display. Robert and Alice Pace, congratulations. They got the DuPont Trophy here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have, oh, another carrier shell display. So here is a good example of the carrier shells like that I found. They usually have just pieces of shells on them. I haven't had any that have a whole shell like that. So it was really cool to be able to see that, that kind of variety, that's really awesome. And then here is a beautiful Florida Caribbean display. Self-collected shells. So Amanda and Dominic Baker collected all of these shells themselves. Look at those lion paws, oh my goodness. So cool. And then, of course, we have shells for sale. So when you come to the shell show, there's a lot of um, people who sell shell crafts here. They sell ornaments. They sell single shells, bulk shells. This is such a fun place to come to shop um, and also to get, like I said, a lot of creative inspiration. Look how cute these are. Look at the little crab there. The little golfer. Yeah. These are just some fun things that, you know, look at the poodle, oh my goodness, how cute. So many creative things that you can do with seashells. Little unicorn, look at the unicorn. So fun, there's little Easter rabbits. And all of these are very common shells, you guys, so. Cute the crab is. I love that. The crab and the poodle are so cute. And here's some Junonias. So if you haven't been able to find a Junonia, but you want one, you can always buy one. They have books for sale. Look how fun is a beautiful shell wreath. Okay. Okay. Here's so here you guys have um, some jewelry, so you can you can get all kinds of fun shell jewelry here to purchase. Everything's so pretty, from earrings to bracelets to necklaces, all kinds of fun things. And then they have other gift ideas too. So if you're looking for a gift for somebody, um, if you have somebody's birthday coming up, you can even get cards for them here that have to do with seashell and beachy themes. These are all really fun. Um, a lot of artists will sell their work here. Here's Christmas ornaments. So if you have a beachy Christmas tree that you are looking to decorate, you can get so many different beachy Christmas ornaments here. Look how cute, look at this little kitten paw Christmas tree. How adorable is that? So that's something that's really fun too. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this super fun episode here on the Virtual Shelling Network, checking out all of the beautiful exhibits 
here at the 40th anniversary of the Marco Island Shell Show. I hope you had fun. I hope you got inspired. I hope you saw something you've never seen before. And I hope maybe it will motivate you to maybe get a display together or enter a shell that you found or even create something amazing to enter into the Shell Show next year. So thank you guys so much for being supportive of the Virtual Shelling Network, for being members and viewers. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, as always, please email me directly at virtualshelling at gmail.com. Until next time, have a shell-tastic day, and I will see you guys again soon.